Hi, uh, E-Tug. It's uh, Scott Leslie here from BC Campus. Um, it's one of the first days of spring here in Victoria, and it's far too nice to be doing this inside, so I thought I'd step outside my office and talk to you out here. So, I'm going to ask to answer the question about the, the value of being open. And Personally, I think that question is all wrong. Um, we shouldn't be asking what the value of open is. Uh, we should instead be complaining about the costs of being closed. The openness is not a fad. It's a, it's a new way of operating that emerges in response to both the centrally managed hierarchical approaches breaking down when faced with scale and complexity and also emerges out of the possibilities for self-organizing that occur when a peer-to-peer -peer connected network of autonomous agents exists, which is what we have now with the internet. Openness is both what enables the uh, self-organization to occur, but also what it produces in a self-perpetuating way. It is not inevitable and definitely not sustainable unless it becomes woven into the fabric and dynamics of our institutions and modes of production and exchange, not simply as byproduct, but as autonomous acts of sharing and community. To me, openness is fundamentally about freedom. Instead of telling people how we are going to help them, it offers what we have to share and allows them the freedom to decide how to, how to use it and what to do with it. In my experience, when you give the chance, people will amaze you in unexpected and inventive and creative ways that they decide to use what you've shared. And almost without exclusion, all of the horror stories and possible edge cases of things that go wrong don't actually happen. So I look forward to a day when instead of people asking why they should bother to be open, they look askew at those who continue to be closed to enforce scarcity when none needs to exist. Thanks.